Hey, metalheads, welcome to another episode, Metal Academics. What's the band this time? Frozen Crown. Frozen Crown, gotta say, never heard of them. Well, I can actually forgive you for not hearing of this band. For once. Because it's so brand new that you would need, you know, like spectacular, you know, farting powers to see it. Because it launched its first album only in 2017. So it's like... So Super. only three years ago. Only three years ago. <laughs> and if we count in the disturbance that 2020 brought upon us, then uh, probably you would be excused for not, not having uh, listened to this Italian feature. From Milano, Lombardia, North Italy, we have Frozen Crown, a band that has, I think, taken power metal by storm because of its great compositions fantastic lead singer in the person of Giada uh, Etro and uh, overall very nicely orchestrated um, orchestrated band. So I'm very excited to introduce this band to uh, you all, to you uh, personally and um, I will not spend too much time on the intro because I think the best thing is to actually listen to the to the uh, to the songs. There's so many references one can make. And I don't know what's it what's up with Italian bands. They're all referring to like snowy landscapes. The the name of this band is Frozen, Frozen Crown. Frozen Crown. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are a couple of other bands that come from Italy that also hint at northern territories. And I'm like, you guys are from the south. You're like steaming hot in the sun. But no, they hint snow north dark. And that's the atmosphere we're going to uh, be involved in. Think about Finland. Think about Sweden. Think about maybe Amana Marth. Think about Winter Sun. Think about, you know, really, really cold environments. And then you'll get the feeling for Frozen Crown. And their very uh, uh, first song we're going to play, which is called I Am The Tyrant from their debut album of 2017, a debut album called The Fallen King. I have no input. I've never heard of this band before. I, I'm thinking of uh, Frozen Tundras. So. Yeah, it's very frozen. <laughs> it's a very frozen landscape. So I Am The Tyrant uh, is just one of the songs that uh, could have been chosen from their first album because right. I really love it. So let's see what you think of it. Yeah, let's hear it.
<laughs> All right, I have two questions. Say. They both relate to cameos. How did they get Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> Tree figure. And how'd they get Avril Lavigne to sing in a metal video? <laughs> it's not her, but she's <laughs> definitely close by. Honestly, I know this is totally not important, shouldn't count, but damn, this band contains the best looking people in metal at the moment. Definitely some Everyone is like, ha, oh, please. How, how can they like gather together? Italy has something special. It's the food or the air or something. It's just like, wow. Making awesome music and looking smoking hot, men and women. So yeah, you guys rock already. So yes, uh, the lead guitar, Talia Belacecca. She's only 18 years old in this video. Obviously uh, getting older, but getting just better. Like and fun she, one. She is just like rocking it to the point where like, oh, blast. And um, Again, I, I love the first album. I could pick pretty much all the songs. I love them equally. It was a, it was a choice mostly related to the availability of videos. Classic. So, um, I Am The Tyrant is a catchy song and had a video. So, there you have it. But you could have any other, um, any other song from, from that debut that I really enjoyed. Uh, I think uh, it's a great mixture of voices, apropos what we talked in many other videos before, uh, male-female dialogue. I think Federico and Jada really have a very nice dialogue. You don't think that one overbears over the other. And in my opinion, I don't know how you feel about this, there is a little bit of um, growling, let's call it, but in the song, for this particular purpose, the tyrant expressed himself just as it should, not too much, just where it belonged in the sense, in the in the story of the of the um, song. So I actually did not find that jarring. I thought it was op appropriate. I think is the word appropriate. Yeah. I what do you think? I, I didn't notice it so much, but um, yeah, I think. Uh, but it wasn't like super heavy death no, metal growling. No, right? no, no. It was no. just uh, kind of there. Yeah, fine with me. Interesting. I'm um, my curiosity is piqued, and uh, I'd like to hear. So more, more of it. It wasn't like a, yeah, not like a, was it an amazing song as such, but uh, definitely talented, interesting, and uh, yeah. I think, uh, again, they're pretty quick in releasing their second album. The second album didn't take that long uh, to come up with, and uh, it's already out in 2019, uh, and uh, um, the name is Crowned in Frost. It's getting like a self-reference. Frost Frost. Crown, Crowned in Frost. Frost. Nice, you uh, get the connection, the right? Um and I think the second album, in my opinion, is slightly under the first album, but only that little, like a small percentage, 5% uh, lower, just because it settles into a more established formula. And again, not getting too theoretical, but it's something that we hinted at when we talked about Unleash the Archers, for example. Um, I think it's kind of... Um, an attempt, and maybe where the uh, power metal music genre as a whole is going, is trying to incorporate in a creative and personal way elements from other genres that are currently very much uh, taking, occupying the space. In vogue. Yeah, and uh, trying to making it their own, a combination of, of uh, power metal classic with symphonic metal, but also with thrash metal, with maybe some elements of extreme metal, and you know, hitting the right spots with this with this combination. I personally think Frozen Crown has pretty much nailed that combo. Um, and we're going to listen to a song from their second album, again, Crown in Frost. Easy to remember, Frozen Crown, Crown in Frost. The name of the song is In the Dark. Also primarily chosen because the video is pretty good. Uh, I could have chosen some other ones, but I wanted to uh, showcase the video because it really shows the diversity and the beauty of the of the band members. Down for that. Um, so let's listen and we'll get some reactions from you maybe directly after In the Dark.
really like it. Uh, I hope you do too, a little bit. Yeah, I like it. I have uh, two main, two broad comments. comments. Uh, one is I like in the third, the last third, I guess, of the song when they kick it into the really fast, yeah. fast smell. That really, I wasn't too much into the beginning, but yeah. uh, they really brought it home in the end, which was awesome. Uh, really enjoyed that. And then the second part, something we've been talking about, it's like a sticking point for me <laughs> personally, is uh, you see the um, the female singer and the male singer singing side by side in the woods, back to back, yeah. multiple times uh, yeah. in the video. <laughs> side by side in the or woods. Or back to back. <laughs> yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, no I know Pretty what Maids saying, yeah. reference there. But uh, anyways, they're, they're, they're singing back to back and the male voice is eliminated from the sound. You don't hear. Eliminated? Federico's voice, you think it's not heard? Well, it's, Again, it's a matter of... Yeah, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I watch it, when they're standing on the rock in the woods, you don't have this like male growling, like... Whoa, you yeah. know? <laughs> Listen to the third song. I was hold just on, saying. hold on. Before we get to that, before we get there, though, like, I liked it. Like, you, there's other bands that we reviewed recently that would have this... Uh, like uh, underneath the t- yeah, you see him singing. Maybe his voice is somewhere in the track, but it's lost. It's not this. Uh, no, it's not. The, he is playing our harmony, and this is what I really like. Both in the intros for the "I Am the Tyrant" and for this particular song is partly the reason why I chose it is because uh, Federico and Jada they are really singing harmony. They're singing not in counter counterpoint. Uh, it's like same. Same tune, just right. different uh, All I'm scale. saying is that in this last video, when they were back to back, you didn't yeah. hear the male no. voice. He was mouthing the words as if he was singing, but there wasn't... You, it was just her. No. Actually, what you heard is actually the mix of them. Because she is a, a mezzo-soprano, so she's a lower voice, and he is a, a higher voice. So yeah, in well, between... Anyways, I appreciated the non-growling aspect of that. Yes. <laughs> we, can, uh, yes. we can boil it down to that. But anyways... That, that's that's two where spot. My again, just because I've listened quite a bit to Frozen Crown, <laughs> uh, I can say that the second album, the one that uh, featured Into the Dark, has, in my opinion, a better production value, and it really, really uh, lifts up the beauty, one of the hidden beauties of the band, which is the drums. Uh, again, I didn't know want to feature too many uh, songs. We only have three uh, in this particular <laughs> format we offer. I could have used uh, Winterfall as another suggestion from their uh, second oh, album. From Game of Thrones or what? Uh, it's connected to uh, Winter Sun, uh, like this kind of Finnish mixture of mellow death and power metal, like really blows your mind, but it's like eight minutes long. So I thought yeah. maybe not. You guys should definitely check it out, Winterfall. Uh, and there, Alberto Mezzanotte, which means like midnight, Alberto Midnight. I don't know if, he's, if, if this is his real name or if it's a stage name. If it's his real name, I think it's fantastic to be called Mezzanotte. Um, and he's hitting the drums with everything he got, and he got a lot. <laughs> uh, so I absolutely love the drums and the bass. The bass is Filippo Zavata- Zavatati, really wonderful. The rhythm section is coming into fully rounding the sound, maybe more than you could hear uh, on Into the Dark, but more present in some other aspects of the second album. However, the third song we're we're listening to, um, it's called The Shield Maiden. It comes from their previous album. Again, they only released two albums, so there are not yet as many songs or as many albums to choose from. I think uh, the first album, you could basically feature all the songs. I love them equally. This one, trigger warning for uh, people like Michael, there's growling involved. More growling than maybe in previous songs, but in my opinion, warranted. And again, pay attention to the drum section because it's gonna just like rock your world. Alberto Mezzanotte, if you come to Sweden, just let me know, you know, we can talk about drums. <laughs> so, yeah, drums. <laughs> let's listen. Shield Maiden. <laughs>
<laughs> what? The drums. Yeah. I find myself uh, really liking the uh, like the la- like I said like the last third of the song when they really kick it in. I wish they yeah. would kick it in Again, earlier. Again, there's some longer longer songs yeah, where they maybe. come come into the full. I think Federico, who is the main uh, musical composer, is just has a great feeling for sound and catchy songs but also like a nice arrangement with different instruments coming and yeah. going and he's also the man behind the keyboards as well so from my perspective it was like uh, they, they hook me in in the last the last <laughs> third of the song and it ends and I'm like oh, wait let's uh, yes I think again it's nice it's one of the bands that I would say albums are not a bad entry point so again these are like teasers give you a little taste of it but I think if you listen to the whole album the songs are not overly long but they give you like a whole perspective and they're varied in terms of the tempo and in terms of which instruments are being pushed up voices the up or low this kind of growling more or less so I think it's pretty good the Fall King really is a wonderful album I could listen to this um, very often <laughs> let's yeah. say for me I think uh, I wouldn't necessarily uh, go I might dabble around and see what else is, mm. is out there on, on Spotify and whatnot. But uh, if, if they came in town or if they were anywhere around, I would definitely go see them live. Uh, not for, yeah. uh, you know, obvious reasons, but also to, uh, I feel like this is a band I could definitely appreciate live. But uh, They were supposed this... to go on a big tour, obviously, pandemics. Yeah, what are you going to do? And you know who they would be on a tour with? You would not know hmm. who would be a match because it's not, I don't think necessarily a perfect match, but... A band that we've talked about recently. Who? Dragon Force. Ah. So that extreme would have, metal. That would have been <laughs> my dream concert. Yeah. Well, I'm sure, my dream concert. I'm sure. <laughs> tears, I'm sure they'll. Tears are I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll fire up again. Oh. But uh, well, yeah, if, if pandemic, uh, I would love to see him live. <laughs> Um, no, I'll, I'll scout around. Guys, come to Scandinavia. We love you already here in the yeah, north. This is actually the north. Yeah, so you'll be, you're not just northern Italians, like in the soul. It seems you're like a Scandinavian northerner. So come and uh, I'm sure that there'll be a big crowd for you uh, in, the, in, well, in Sweden. Very interesting that uh, you chose an Italian band. I'll, I'll, I'll leave a bit with my, <laughs> my next, uh, the next video you'll see will also be an, uh, an Italian really? band. Really? Different song or different, uh, different Genres, style. yeah. But, Italians uh, and power metal. Man, there's so many good Italian bands and Italian singers. We've already talked about uh, a couple of them. Alessandro Conti, who is playing with Twilight Force. Uh, Fabio Leone, who is playing with Angra. Of course, Rhapsody, that is like the godfathers of Italian metal. Yeah, so there's going to be none of those. It's going to be none of those. I'm very curious. Uh... You guys stay tuned. I don't even know what he's talking about. Yeah. So we will be holding this in a surprise. But um, I hope you enjoyed Frozen Crown. It's again a, a coming up band. I think it already showed it has basically everything. everything. Keep your eye on the radar. Exactly. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments what you thought of it. If you knew of the band already or if this is your entry point into it. And uh, let us know, obviously, if you have any more suggestions. Absolutely. And, but, uh, um, yeah. yeah, until next time. May your sword stay sharp. And your quests end in glory. <laughs>